Hey guys, it's Kylo and Track Master Kid 5 and welcome back to another model train review. Now this video is just a video of some new freight, some stuff I got from maybe some hobby shops, and yeah, so enjoy the video. So here is what well, I'm gonna show you guys first, and this is something that I got at a hobby shop at my hometown, which uh sadly it closed on December 31st because it was it hit its final day in service. And that was because the shop owner is was like too old to run the place no more. And the place was called Harder's Hobby House. It was a really good place. Um, the place has been around since 1946 or 1949. It's been around for a long time. Uh, it's mainly It was mainly a Lionel O-Scale place and a Bachman HO place. And also for Concord stuff as well. But um, I guess the owner um, was like 79 years old stuff and... Yeah, he decided to retire from running the shop, and yeah, the place is now closed, sadly. And most of the freight there was nice and cheap, and they were really good freights as well. But um, before I before it closed, I was able to get, go get a chance to go out there to check it out. It was a nice little place, and I guess we can show you what here's some of the stuff I got from there. And let's start off with these three hoppers. These are actually. Um, El Concord, Illinois Central Golf. Uh, I don't know what type of hopper these these are. Again, I, I don't have time. I'm too lazy to go look at the box. But um, these are all all three of them are Illinois Central Golf. These came in a three pack. Um, I'm just gonna keep them on the track, so I'm not gonna borrow looking at them and stuff. So yeah. Um, actually, to go ahead and tell you guys, these were all like, put together ones. Like these are all you have to assemble your own uh, freight cars and. So, um, yeah, it took me, like, maybe a few hours to assemble each one and stuff. And then there's some parts I couldn't get them to stay, so I had to use model glue. Luckily, it, would, it they stayed and stuff. And also, um, while putting these together, one thing I extremely hated was putting the spring coils into the trucks. And, yeah, that, was, that took a lot. That made the process a lot longer. And I really hated that. But luckily, I was able to get them into the uh, truck. And now they're in there. Only problem they have now is that they they don't really turn that well. And also they also have the crappy horn hook couplers that nobody uses no more. Whenever I get a chance to go to my nearest hobby shop that I actually found not long ago because a friend told me about it. Um, I guess I can give a shout out to Brody Megs. I hope I pronounced your last name right. A friend, I guess a new friend of mine that, that lived in the area I used to live in, which I'm not going to reveal. Uh, shout out to him. He told me about this place. And another friend of mine, uh, can't reveal his name probably, but um, he wouldn't mind. But I'm not going to reveal it anyway. But uh, Nicholas S. is his YouTube name. He kind of told me about the place as well. Uh, I'll explain what the hobby shop, is, hobby shop I went to is in the, when I show you the next couple freights I got and stuff. But uh, back to what I was saying, uh, at the hobby shop where I live close to, the nearest hobby shop I haven't found. Uh, they have actual brand new couplers. I think they might be KD or whatever. I don't remember. But I'm going to re be replacing all of these. Because all these here. Except besides the Bachman being a stuff caboose. Um, all these freight. All this freight right here. Including some of my DC locomotives. That are on like the little storage area. Up on the desktop. Um, they all have horn hook couplers. And they're going to be replated. Replaced with regular knuckle couplers like these. Because I honestly hate the horn couplers. They don't, they don't work that well with these. So, um, yeah. These are the Illinois Central Golf Thrall... Not, crap, I was going to talk about the Waffers one. But, uh, the Illinois Central Golf, um... Uh, Bay... I think these are Bay Hoppers. I'm not... Hundred... Hundred... A thousand... I don't remember, but they're just... Great, they're like regular coal hoppers. Uh... They're really nicely designed, and these are actually from, like, the 1980s. No joke. They were from the 1980s, and eventually they were still fresh in the box when I got them. So they were the pocket, the packaging was never open. The packaging, the box was never opened. So this is freshly new, I guess you can say, but it's, the box is old. So, yeah. Okay, this other Illinois Central Golf Freight is also a Concor Assemble Your Own Freight Car. This is a 60-foot boxcar, so it's pretty long, um, almost the size of my SD 
basically about the size of my SD40-2. Um, yeah, you can tell that it's like, probably can't tell from right here, but you can tell how long it is um, from that view. This was also assembled together. You can kind of see like this roof part's kind of bended a little bit. Uh, probably from like this angle. I don't know, but uh, I had to use model glue. And then there's some parts where there was no holes that were supposed to be. Where there was a hole supposed to be at. And they weren't there. So I had to use my X-Acto knife to drill some in. And glue the use model glue to glue some of these pieces in. Um, yeah. You can tell it's like it's like this. Some of the le that black paint's been kind of been stained by the model glue, but it's no big deal. Cause whenever I get much bigger in the model railroading and stuff, and get more watch and more stuff, I might learn how to weather uh, freight cars. I might weather this because of because of the age, like the railroad. You know what I'm talking about, like the railroad relationships and stuff. And yeah, this has metal wheels also. Um, I'm gonna be replacing the knuckle. I mean, these horn hook couplers with the, these type of couplings, knuckle couplings. Uh, not much I can say. Oh, yeah, this is a Greenville box car. Uh, it's along with these hoppers and also going along with uh, the, uh, I think, yeah, that is derailed. I can tell. <laughs> uh, these are all metal. And the three hoppers and the box car, they're all Greenville uh, freight cars. So I don't know if they're made in, like, a town I think they were made in a town called Greenville. I don't know where. I don't know if it's like Greenville, Illinois, because the Illinois Central Golf, I think, ran through there at one point. I'm not really sure. But anyway, that's about it. Now let's move on to the newer stuff. But before I move on to the other stuff, you're probably wondering, you, got, you guys are probably wondering, what about this chassis, this uh, Chesapeake and Ohio caboose and this Western Maryland chassis system, chassis system caboose? Well, um, I'll get to those freight some other time because I got those separately. I got, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now. I got this box car. I think this might be a 40 foot. And then this caboose. I got these from eBay and along with uh, some locomotives I got. I meant to do this review on these two freights uh, back in August of 2016. But uh, I might do them some other time. These will not be done a review on for now. But anyway, to the new stuff, like right now. So here is some of the new stuff I got for the model train layout. Um, as you can see on the right, there is some new Atlas Code 83 track. It's a six pack without no road bed or anything. And then the two freights on the right, on the left side, on, on the top box is an Athern ready to roll uh, CSX caboose. And the bottom box is an Intermountain, uh, an Intermountain CSX hopper. So yeah, I got this stuff at this hobby shop called Roadboard Hobbies, or no, not Roadboard, Redboard Hobbies. Uh, it's a small little nice uh, hobby shop in my town, hometown. It's only 0.3 miles away from my house. Uh, again, shout out to Brody Megs and then Nicholas S, aka the the real fan YouTuber. That's not his actual name, by the way. But uh, they told me about the place, and it's actually a really nice place. They sell all um, Athern products there mainly, well mainly locomotives and stuff, and sets, um, here's a picture of their locomotives they got in store right now, that are just by themselves, along in a glass casing shelf, uh, for display, and anybody in there, available to buy, they're all Athern locomotives, I think, I believe they're all ready to run in Genesis locomotives, and maybe some roundhouse locomotives also, I'm not really sure, but yeah, anyway, let's go check them out. So as you saw in the picture in the previous scene, here is the Atlas uh, Code 83 track. Um, yes, this is nickel silver rail. Uh, you can tell there's a huge difference between the Bachman steel alloy, alloy, alloy track. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but oh well. And then there's the Atlas Code 83 track. It's really shiny as well, obviously. <laughs> and yeah, uh, whenever I get the chance, I might get some... Uh, Woodland, Woodland Scenics, uh, uh, roadbed to go into this stuff, but I highly doubt I'll probably do that for now. I'll probably just leave it until all this track is gone. It'll be on the ground until I get a table or something like that, a wooden table, and then get the roadbed and stuff and all that junk off on there. I mean, on there. But anyway, um, out of that way, out of the way from that, here is a new freight I got for the train set, and this is 
an Intermountain product, and this is actually my first ever Intermountain product I have, and this is a, a Intermountain CSX uh, Bay Hopper. I just don't know how long it is or anything, but pretty short. But this is a Bay Hopper. Uh, as you saw in the previous picture, is the box that it came in from. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna take it off the track or anything. As you can tell, I think this has KD couplers in it and stuff. And these have spring coils in it, just like the Bachman Easy Mate couplers, like Mark II couplers. You can tell I I, I highly think these are KD couplers because they're, they're like they're plastic, but they're not metal. But I think these are definitely KDs. But uh, yeah, as you can all already tell, and obviously tell from any model railroaders, these the Intermountain always has uh, metal wheels for their freight cars, or well, their for their newer ones. That is, but um. Overall, wait, that's a jet flying over. But overall, this is a really magnificent, magnificent model. It is really nicely designed. Uh, this is why I'm a big fan of Intermountain products. Um, but the hobby shop I told you about earlier, uh, it, it's mainly an Athern product store. So basically, all their stuff, including that picture of the locomotives I showed you, those are all Athern locomotives. So um, yeah. Nothing is. It's all the same. It's all all the stuff is in the same. On is the same on the other side. But yeah, that's all I, I got. It is really nice. And here is the other freight I got, and this is just a caboose because since I'm railroading mainly, railroading mainly CSX because it's one of my favorite railroads. Cotton Bell C4AT. Don't judge, even though you're probably not watching this, but I don't care. Um, or any CSX haters at all that are watching this. Um. Just, just don't make fun of me because I am a big CSX Railroad fan. I kind of grew up with CSX and so did my family, kind of, well, on my dad's side. Uh, but he mainly grew up, my dad mainly grew up with Chessie System. He was a big fan of that railroad. Um, but yeah, this is a Athern product. And this is a product, this is my third Athern product I have. The first two were uh, box cars, which were these two right here the B, the Born of BN and the Western Maryland chassis box car. Um, I cannot, I don't remember what this was called. I think this was called a, a glance, a, a, no, a full vision caboose. That's what it was called. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, full, vi full vision caboose, I guess because of all the windows and stuff. And then you have this thing and stuff. The Bachman Union Pacific one I have, you probably got, you got, some of you guys probably don't remember it, but it was kind of seen in many of my older videos, like very old videos. Um, you guys could clearly see that and stuff. The design is really nice. Uh, it's got the basic CSX YN3 colors in it. The metal, the wheels are metal. I don't know about the the couplings. I think those might be KDs. I'm not really sure. They're uh, brown and they have uh, spring coils in them, just like the Bachman Easy 2. But the Bachman Easy 2, there's you can clearly see that there's a big size difference because Bachman's couplings are much bigger than. I think those might be KDs, I am pretty sure, because they look almost exactly alike as the Intermountain couplings. But yeah, there's nothing on the side on the on the other side. It's basically all the same. It's got metal wheels. And I don't think I showed you the front. Yeah, there's the front. There's kind of some stuff on the front. Also, nothing the same, obviously. I don't think there is anything. Yeah, it's the same on the back. So yeah, um that's basically it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review on the Concord and the Intermountain and Althern Freight I got. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this review. Subscribe for more model train reviews in the future. And stay tuned for more other content on the channel. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and goodbye.